Let's turn our attention to college basketball for a second, please. Based on the first two games of March Madness, first two rounds, actually, number one seeded UConn men are looking like a good bet to repeat as national champions. All three Big East teams in the field have advanced to the Sweet 16, and all of the number one and two seeds have reached the round of 16 for just the fifth time in tournament history. So that's good. That's very, very interesting, y'all, okay? Let me get this, the, the men's out of the way first because it's important to point this out. I don't give a damn too much about the men this year. I'm not going to front. I don't think anybody could beat UConn. They just look head and shoulders above everybody else. They toyed with Northwestern yesterday. My poor brother, Michael Wilbon, was sitting courtside and stuff like that. Got to the game, had on his Northwestern jersey, showed up on CNN prior to the game promoting Northwestern. And I was like, why are you doing this to yourself? And Annihilation is coming, my brother. Do you really want to be a part of this drubbing? And sure enough, before I had an opportunity to pass gas, they were down by 25. I mean, that's the situation. That's the situation. Everybody seems head and shoulders above, or below rather, UConn at this particular moment in time. I did like the North Carolina-Michigan State game. All right? Michigan State put forth a good fight. You know I love me, Tom Izzo. Not just the one that works with me, but the coach that coaches at Michigan State. Bottom line is this, though. I really knew they didn't have a chance. Not with them brothers. Saw Hubert Davis, the coach fired up. The team reacted. Props to them. I watched all of Houston, Texas A&M last night because I picked Texas A&M. I had to pick an upset. I couldn't just go with a bunch of number one seeds. And I thought Houston, who got drubbed by Iowa State in the conference title game, I mean, I just looked at them and I said, you know what? I don't think they're going to do much this year. Then they were running away with it. A minute and 17 was left in the game. They were up 10. Game should have been over. And Texas A&M comes back and ties it and forces it into overtime. So I give them props for that good fight, but ultimately they ended up going home. And you got to give them props where it's due. Marquette, why am I not high on Marquette? I love Shaka Smart. The problem is I've seen them get their ass kicked by UConn too many times this season. And I just believe that ultimately you're not going to be somebody that's going to beat UConn. So I'm not sold on you. Purdue, yeah, you beat up Utah State. What do you want, a cookie? You got the easiest region anybody can point to. Creighton, listen, them beating Oregon, that was, that was a good. That was a good one. No doubt about it. Texas and Tennessee, it was good for a while, but Tennessee – just seem to have the number. In the end, I'm just looking at it, guys, and I'm like, ladies, fellas, I don't see anybody beating UConn. 